John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you know him and have seen him. In the Orthodox Study Bible, we read, The way we reach the Father is forever established in the person and work of the Son. The Son is the truth because he is the unique revelation of the Father. Christ is the life who became man so that we might have life. And as he is our life, not even death can hinder us from coming to him. Only in Christ can one come to know the Father, for only in Christ is the way of all truth and all life found. St. Henry of Poitiers writes, He who is the way does not lead us into bypaths or trackless wastes. He who is the truth does not mock us with lies. He who is the life does not betray us into delusions which are death. He himself has chosen these winning names to indicate the methods that he has appointed for our salvation. As the way, he will guide us to the truth. As the truth, he will establish us in the life. So that's kind of interesting how, how St. Hilary says way, truth, and life are sequential. Right? The way takes us to the truth. In the truth, we find life. And this idea of the way was so abiding that in the ancient Christian church, the very first name for the Christian church was simply the way. And then, of course, no one comes to the Father except through me. Here's what St. Basil the Great has to say about that. We understand the way to be the road to perfection, advancing in order step by step through the words of righteousness and the illumination of knowledge, is always yearning for that which lies ahead and straining towards the last mile until we reach that blessed end, the knowledge of God, with which the Lord blesses those who believe in him. For truly, our Lord is a good way, a straight road, with no confusing forks or turns, leading us directly to the Father. For no one comes to the Father, he says, except through me. Such is our way up to God through the Son. It is through Christ because of his redemptive mission. It is through Christ because ultimately, if we are doing all those things in Matthew 25 that, that talk about how the sheep are welcomed in, that they're ultimately doing them to Christ, we should not confuse the idea of the way with a technique. If you learn this technique, you will be saved because that's not how he is the way. It's about relationship and through a relationship with him, we have a relationship with the Father and through communion and being one with him, we are at the right hand of the Father. Thanks for listening to this episode of my podcast. If you'd like to learn more about Eastern Orthodox Christianity, but aren't near an Orthodox church, you might be interested in the Fellowship of St. Theophon the Recluse, an online community for seekers and inquirers all in that same situation. We have members in the U.S., Latin America, the British Isles, Africa, and Australia. For more information, message me or send me an email. Until next time, take care and God bless. Music